Thank you very much for kind introduction. My name is Kazuko Yoshizawa. Uh, I'm a nutrition epidemiologist. It's my pleasure to be able to present uh, this study uh, at this occasion. And uh, my title is again is uh, validity and reproducibility of a food frequency questionnaire FFQ to assess the consumption of fatty acids and antioxidant in a Japanese population. My co-authors are indicated in this slide. Diet may influence the occurrence of human disease, but diet is a modifiable risk factor. To assess the relationship diet and disease, we need a tool. Well-known uh, dietary assessment tools are 24-hour recall, diet recall, a record and a food frequency questionnaire, FFQ. Among them, FFQ is widely used a method in epidemiologic study, usually which is big. Why? Because it ranks individuals and the groups by nutrient or food intake, and it low cost and the participants' burden is low. FFQ has been often being validated against one dietary method. Uh, but the correlation with the true intake can be estimated by the method of the triad. The first validation study of FQ within a large prospective cohort was developed and validated by World Wallet, and the result was published in 1985, American Journal of Epidemiology. And uh, the method has been updated and advanced by Willett and his colleagues. The latest work by Al Shah will be published soon in American Journal of Epidemiology. We developed a Japanese 166 item food frequency questionnaire for epidemiologic studies to focus on prevention of coronary heart disease in 2014. The validity of the questionnaire, however, was unknown objective of this study to assess the validity and reproducibility of this 166 food item FFQ for Japanese population. Methods. Here is the outline of the methods. I like to explain one by one more detail. Study populations were 131. They were living healthy who were living individuals, men and women, in the western region of Japan, who had lived in urban and rural areas for more than five years in the region, who had not changed their recent habitual diets due to their health conditions. Our FFQ has two major po uh, uh, portion. One is the foot list, the other is a response section. For food list, we included 166 food items which are related to the risk of coronary heart disease, nutrients of interest from the literature review and previous studies, fatty acids, carotenoids, tocopherols, folate, and vitamin D. These foods were commonly consumed nationwide in Japan and locally available. There were nine possible responses for most of the food, ranging from never to six or more times per day. Liver of chicken, for example, had four responses from never to once a day. Fat intake, we asked in detail the types of fatty fat used for stir frying, for deep frying, butter, margarine, used for bread. And each food has information on the portion size. This FFQ was open-ended because we wanted to capture any foods not listed in the food list. Diet supplements used was also asked about vitamins and minerals. The participants were asked what was the average intake of each food consumed over the last year. This slide shows the design of the data collection method. 
that this method is uh, based on the theory uh, to reduce the systematic variance due to seasonality and day of the week. And from literature review, we know, and in my country, there are four distinct uh, uh, seasons. We collected dietary information from the same participants. There are 12 one-day diet records. Each diet uh, record was collected on the day, a uh, different day of the week. Two FFQs were collected, one year apart, and biomarkers once was what was collected. And at the end, we collected 12 one-day uh, 12 one day diet records from one, uh, 130, and the 13 participants did not provide food some uh, blood samples. Computation of a new change in signal from the diet records and the FFQ, we use a software with the standard tables of food composition, uh, Japan 2010, and the fatty acid composition of foods, 2005. The calculation method was similar to that used in the Japan National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, which is nationwide, has been conducted since 1946. We did not include the computation from vitamin supplements because the percentage who took the, uh, the other supplements was very small. At the end, we collected, we calculated diet records, 1,571. Measurement of a plasma biomarkers. Carotenoids to coffee oils were measured by high performance liquid chromatography. 25 hydroxyvitamin D was determined by enzyme immunoassay. Fatty acid were measured by gas chromatography and folate was done by chemilumilucent immunoassay. We measured these biomarkers at two places. One is at Channing Laboratory Harvard. The rest were measured at a private company laboratory in Kyoto, Japan. For statistical analysis, we use 101. We excluded participants if their KCAL energy intake per day was out of the range, are calculated from FEVQ, that is less than 600 and greater than 3,500 for women, less than 800, greater than 4,200 for men. And it was 21 participants excluded, and it was equivalent to 16%, and there was no difference between men and women. We excluded the participants who did not provide blood samples. In our statistical analysis, or nutrients were adjusted for energy intake by the residual method. The method of the triad, which is a highlight of the uh, statistical analysis in our, current, in our current study, parameter of the validity of FFQ, the validity coefficients we see as a true long-term intake can be estimated from the three pairwise correlations between the FFQs, in our cases, two FFQs, and the reference method, in our cases, 12 one-day diet records, and biomarkers. So this slide shows graphical presentation of the method of a triad. And if we have dietary information by three methods, we can draw this triangle and obtain correlation coefficients between these methods, which between the method, uh, between the uh, nutrients collected by the three methods. If we obtain correlation coefficients R, uh, three coefficients from uh, the uh, this triangle, uh, then we can plug these coefficients in a formula, which we can from which we can obtain validity coefficient 
The formula is given marked in red. I'd like to introduce a study of a body tension study of an FFQ conducted by Kawakamba for a population in Costa Rica. I like to show the table just a part of their findings was the comparison of validity of coefficient between the three methods, three, uh, three uh, uh, the validity coefficients. One is diet records versus true intake, FEVQ versus true intake, plasma biomarkers versus true. I show these cases in three nutrients, alpha carotene, beta carotene, and beta cryptocytin. But as you see, the validity coefficients are equally good as the rest of those, uh, the rest of our methods, or better than indicators of the rest of the methods. Kabakamba concluded that plasma biomarkers did not perform better than the FFQ. The FFQ was valid and reproducible instrument for assessing dietary intake. Well, I'd like to touch upon a little bit the residual method, the concept of a problem of total energy intake. The figure shows that positive correlation between nutrient intake and total calorie intake. This means when you intake more nutrients, the more calorie intake. So this is not the correct. And to correct this error, we use the residual method to obtain energy adjusted. Nutrient intake is reduced nutrient intake as dependent variable on mean caloric intake uh, of, uh, uh, as an independent variable. Then you obtain linear correlation uh, equation. So from this equation, you can calculate residual that is the distance between observed value and expected value. So you add this distance and the difference, this is the residual, is added to the nutrient intake estimated at the mean in caloric intake from the uh, indigenous population. In our data, we find a positive correlation between beta carotene and uh, energy intake. This is similar to the other nutrients. And before energy adjustment, there was a positive correlation. This is not the right. So after energy adjustment, there is no correlation between, between them. Results. This shows characteristics, baseline characteristics of the 131 participants the data collected in 2014 and 2015. Well, when you look at the you know, proportion of female, it is 73, which is higher than the population uh, of a male, uh, male population. And moreover, the percentage of the community nutrition volunteers is higher by 63, because we wanted to recruit participants who are highly motivated to complete this long nutrition survey. This shows the results of the triad method. Comparison of mean daily new energy intake and nutrient intakes by use of an FFQ1, FFQ2, and 12-1 diet records for 101 participants. So when you look at the nutrients I highlighted. Total energy, lipid, EPA, exopentanoic acid. The mean intakes in diet records seems to be, well, actually they are lower than those in FFQ1, FFQ2. Well, in the case of lipid, for example, if you calculate percentage energy intake from the lipid, the difference became much shorter, much smaller. 
From the literature review and the previous studies, it is says that estimate in diet record is smaller than those in FFQ. So the actual uh, uh, nutrient intake exists in between. This is another table for antioxidant. So we can see the similar trend. I just, you know, highlighted beta carotene as an example, but the, the trend was similar. We did preliminary analysis to obtain the ratio of within person and between person variation. The table shows that uh, variance component, I mean the other ratios between within and uh, uh, within uh, to uh, between person variation before energy adjustment and after adjustment. As you can see, variance, uh, the ratio is bigger for macronutrients while a small, uh, the uh, Variance, uh, the ratio was smaller for macronutrients, why it was bigger for micronutrients. And after adjustment, that ratio changes. So you can see the importance of total energy adjustment. We need to use energy adjusted nutrients in our statistical analysis. This table shows uh, from a preliminary analysis, and we, I wanted to compare the mean intake of the current study and uh, the mean from the National Nutrition Survey. So for many, most of the nutrients in, in this table, they're very similar, except the folate. Then I checked whether this is true or not, then I found that the folate intake of, uh, uh, of the mean in a nutrition survey, if you compare the age group, the similar to our group, then they were similar. This table shows biomarker concentrations, and I mentioned uh, measured at two places, one in, in the US, the other is uh, Japan. And when you see concentration for fatty acids, well, they are within the range of reference value provided by the Japanese Institute. The carotenoid took of vitamin D, among them, beta cryptothantin uh, of this population higher than any reference values available at the Channing Laboratory, Harvard. Well, this is a result from triad method. Validity coefficient, 95 confidence interval between the three pairwise correlations by the FFQ, trail one day records, and biomarkers. I just selected the, uh, the, few, uh, the several nutrients, vitamin D, folate, alpha carotene, beta carotene, beta cryptothantin, and the EPA and DHA. When you compare validity coefficients in the red box, that is the correlation between FFQ, well, in this case, it's FFQ2 versus true intake. The values are similar or better than those in the uh, validity coefficients in red, uh, green, and blue box, namely, uh, co uh, correlations between diet record versus true intake and biomarkers versus true intake. So from the results, when we will be asked what dietary me a measurement method do we use to assess the association between diet and coronary heart disease, but Two, do we use? We will say the FFQ because the FFQ from this study performs well. And moreover, the cost and participant burden are far less than those of those 
other, uh, the other two methods. Conclusion. The preliminary findings suggest that the FFQ we developed have a good validity of nutrient intakes estimated by this Japanese FFQ. And the result of a current study can be used to adjust for overestimation by intake by calibration based on our data. After this study, we'd like to continue as a full uh, future study for validity. We'd like to do the analysis to obtain validity coefficients between energy adjusted nutrient intakes calculated from the first FFQ and the average of the JFFQ. I show the preliminary analysis of, uh, by, uh, from the uh, FFQ2, and we will obtain the attenuated correlations of the nutrient assessed by the FFQ with the diet records. And in this analysis, we need information on the ratio of within to between person variance from diet records by use of linear X model. For reproducibility, uh, we were uh, not able to show, but we are doing, and uh, we continue the analysis to obtain intra-class correlation coefficients, ICCs, for specific nutrients from the repeated measures by the FFQ by linear X, uh, mix model. Acknowledgement. I like to thank the people. Many people supported this uh, the uh, study, and in particular, uh, the study participants who tolerated the, uh, the whole year uh, nutrition survey. And thank you very much and for your uh, attention.